my name is Lindsay, I am the book vlogger, it's time for a book haul. Okay, I got a few things I want to show you guys that are not books, but I think you should still see them. Um, first, I was sent some bookmarks by uh, What's Your Story um, by from Ashley. She is a book blogger that I follow, and I really, really like her a lot. Um, check out her blog, What's Your Story, bookreviews.com. Um, I think you guys will like it. She's a real sweetheart. Um, she sent me a couple of these. I'm going to be sticking them in some of the books that I give away, so you might get some of these really awesome bookmarks. I also got these here. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see it so well. I don't think it's going to focus. Um, but they're like, they're basically little advertisements, little card advertisements that I got, and I was, I thought they were really neat. And um, I liked the covers a lot, and I thought, well, okay, I got a bunch of these. I'll stick them in the books that I'm going to give away. Um, <laughs> but then I actually looked closer at them, and it looks like they're actually for erotica, and I didn't realize that. This one says, Born to Freedom, Modeled into Submission, Seduction is Her Only Weapon in a World of Erotic Exotic Desires. So I'm like, well, that sounds a little inappropriate. <laughs> In this case, she's um, punished for, I can't remember what she's punished for, but she's punished and by being punished they um, give her, they change her body, make her both male and female. Um, and in this one, uh, she ends up going, getting in some sort of ring that usually ends up in an orgy or something. So they're definitely not for children. Um, <laughs> You might still get them in books. If I, if you win a giveaway and I send you a giveaway, you might still end up with a few of these if I know you're over 18. But if I think you're under 18, I might not send these. <laughs> I want to help promote books. And um, I like romance novels as much as the next person. And these may be good books. I don't know. So I'm just kind of surprised that they're erotica novels. I'm like, ooh, this could be a problem. <laughs> And just so you guys know, if there's anyone out there who has blogs and you have postcards or bookmarks, or if you're an author and you have things like this that you'd like to spread out, feel free to send me as many as you want, and I will stuff my giveaway books for them. I have two shelves of books that I need to give away, and I will be happy to stick your stuff in the books. I think it's fun to get little things hidden inside of the pages, and people can decide if they want to check them out or not. So please, contact me, I'll give you my address, and you can send me that stuff. Not a problem. Also to note, if you're going to send me something, please include your name. I've had people sending me things that I'm grateful for, but then I don't know who it's from, and I can't say their name. So please make sure you include your name. Okay, the first book I want to talk about, I've actually already reviewed, and you can see that review. I'll put an annotation around here somewhere. Um, but it's Heart of Brass by Kate Cross, which is actually... Katie Cross, who's the author of The a Girl in the Steel Corset. Um, really good book. I very much enjoy this. Read through it pretty quickly. It's a steampunk adult romance. Um, I highly recommend it if you're looking for just a good, fun read. Next is Department 19 by Will Hill. Uh, this is an, a novel about, I think, an agency that fights vampires. I think the author is from the UK. I'm not sure, though, but I think so. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I've been interested in it for a while. They had a really awesome campaign for this book with a really great trailer. The book is pretty scuffed up. I don't think that's part of the design, but there's lots of dirt and stuff all around it. But it's not signed, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. If it was signed, I'd be pretty heartbroken because it's not like I can do anything about that. But I think I paid five bucks for this, so it's not the end of the world. The remainder mark's kind of bad on the bottom. Otherwise, the book's in good condition, though. The inside is super cool, because um, you have that, which I think is awesome, and then the side is really blingy. So I love that. This They did a great job with that there. And there's also a ton of artwork throughout the book, little things like that, which I think is really, really cool. The next book is 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. I love this cover so, so much. Um, this is a book that a lot of people have been talking about, um, Bunny Kate's. Um, she recommended it. She says, I'm going to love it, and I'm really excited about it. I am on this huge juvenile kick for some reason. Steampunk and juvenile are my, my things. I want to buy every book that's steampunk, and I want to buy tons of juvenile novels, and a lot of them are steampunk. And I just love that they're very adventurous, and I'm finding that juvenile novels sometimes are very creative and more creative than the young adult novels. So that might be why I have this kit going. Uh, the inside's plain. Um, there's your side. It's not signed. I'm very excited to read this book. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Next is The Cabinet of Wonders by Mary Rud Rud Rudkowski. 
Um, another juvenile series that kind of comes off very steampunk. I don't know if it actually is, but I got the impression that it was. Um, like she has like a mechanical spider for a pet and stuff. The problem with this book, um, there is no, there is a remainder mark on the top, but it's actually torn. Which, that's a horrible tear. I mean, wow. So I'm glad that this is inside because that's a problem. The inside is two-toned, and I really like that there is a spider right. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. It's right along there. So you got the web that comes down, and then there's your spider right there. <laughs> These are short. The, the pages are serrated, and I think this is going to be a really fun book to read. The second is the um, Celestial Globe, of course, by the same author. Um, I like the first cover better than the second one, but at least this one's not torn. Um, it does have a sticker on the back, which I've already tried to get off, and it's going to be a real pain. <laughs> This one also has a spider along there, but nothing else different. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the first one, which I think is always a good sign. That, be, that means that the story is getting better. If it was getting thinner, I would be concerned. Next is The Fairy Ring by Kate Kiki Hamilton. Um, there was a lot of talk about this book for a long time. I personally don't like the cover. I think the cover makes it look old, um, like an older book. Um, but it sounds like it could be an interesting read. I haven't heard anything too bad about it, so I decided to go get, go ahead and get it. This one isn't signed. There are no remainder marks. It's in good condition. And you got pink along the side there, but it's plain on the inside. And I'm hoping this will be a fun read, but I don't think I'll get to it anytime soon. And then I got So Silver Bright by Lisa Mat Manchev. Um, I have the first two books in the series, which I did in a, a fairy book haul a while ago. Um, maybe I'll link it somewhere. <laughs> um, and I have not read these books yet. Someone told me that um, they thought I would like them, so I went ahead and got them. I'm surprised I got this one so soon at such a great price. Um, it's in beautiful condition. Every book that I've gotten for this series is in wonderful condition. I wish they were signed, so hopefully I will meet the author someday and have her sign them. Um, a lovely green on the inside, and then you have a beautiful silver there right along the, um, the bind whatever it's called. Next I got In the Darkness by Nick Lake. Um, this is not the kind of book that I would read. It was uh, gifted to me by someone. They didn't come with a name so I can't remember who it was. Um, to who sent it, thank you very much. I am going to include this in my giveaway stack so watch for this in a future giveaway. She also sent Gossip Girl Psycho Killer um, but it's not the full book. It's like, uh, like a few chapters from it. And I think the cover is really cool, and I've seen the other covers for the series. Um, and this is probably something that I won't give away on its own, but I might include with either this one or maybe with some other ones. Or maybe I'll just hold on to it and do a bundle someday. Um, and they, with that, they also sent me um, a bookmark for a book, Between You and Me postcard, and a Vanish um, by Sophie Jordan postcard. It's a little bit damaged there in the corner, but it is signed. I have both of these books signed, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the book. This is a really cool addition. I'm really happy to have it, so thank you so much for that. These I'm probably going to put aside and stick in to go with some of the books that I give away. Again, to the person who sent these, thank you so much for sending them. This is awesome. I love it. All right, that's my book haul. If you guys read any of these books, let me know if you like them. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Here are my two latest videos. Click them, comment, do all that good stuff. Um, make sure you enter my giveaway for this week. Uh, subscribe, comment, thumbs up to do all that great stuff. I love you guys. Thanks so much to everyone. Thank you for continuing to watch this long. And until next time, happy reading.